So today, do we have a tree? We are in an absolutely beautiful, massive mansion. Uh, this was constructed in 1704. This is Walton Hall. It is historically crazy. There's so much stuff happened in this place. The artwork, everything's original. Things have been untouched in here for 10 years now. So here is a permission only entry. The current owner that um, bought it in 1982, did you say? Yeah, the 80s, yeah. yeah. Uh, for £15,000 for this place. It's crazy. It's up for sale now at a million pound. Three million. Uh, oh yeah, three million. Three sorry. million. <laughs> it's for sale for three million pounds at the moment. But yeah, he's given us permission, he's given us a walk around, give us history. Um, I think it is it third floor, it's all Freemasons floor. Yeah, yeah. So that, oh, yeah. that's pretty cool. It's crazy. Um, yeah, yeah it, it used to be a, a school, uh, it was used in the, the war as a hospital. Uh, as the American Second base. World War, it was yeah. the American base. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's it had a lot of history. The original foundations date back to the uh, I think you said 12th century, wasn't it? Something, something, like something that, crazy yeah. like that, yeah. So, we'll go down into the cellar and you'll see the original foundations. It's actually built on the original rock. It's actually just built on the original rock. It's crazy. Yeah, it's an amazing place. It's not any work done to it at all as well, like uh, restoration work. There's this, as you see this here, this was 1700s. Uh, it was reconstructed, not, not like foundations, just uh, redesigned. I think it was uh, in the 1770s. Um, so all this here, all the wood panelling is from the 1700s. So it's uh, it's crazy oh, how great condition it's in. Um, it's well kept. Uh, there, there was a long battle for a while trying to get it graded because they did try to demolish it, but now it's a graded one listed building. So now the intro is finished with, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around um, and just take a look at this amazing place. Uh, Wes, you know, Wes doesn't get excited often, but trust me, Wes is excited today. I've not seen him this excited in a long time. I'm actually so excited. I can't believe we're here. It's beautiful. I mean, look at this. We still have electricity in this place. We still have electricity. Look at the look at the walls. Look at the artwork. Look at the chandelier up there. Uh, there, there we go. And there's one here that's not working, unfortunately. Uh, this was used for weddings and stuff like that for a while. So you have uh, some of these bars that have been constructed. Probably, probably in the 1900 some point. Just married balloons. Just married balloons, still inflated as well. I, I, I doubt they were from when they were weddings. Happy wedding anniversary. So yeah, we got a bar here. Uh, oh, look at these balls, these balls have been untouched. So the, so the, uh, the current owners, uh, there's something to do with the council, I think. Um, the former owner showed us around and he said that he bought it in the 80s and he didn't touch it at all. He lived in it with his family, but didn't really touch it. Uh, so everything you see here is, uh, has been like this for 30 years or so. Uh, it's, it's just crazy. Look at these bottles here. I'm so excited, I'm so pumped up to be here. Got some uh, just old cupboards here. I can't wait to get upstairs actually, what's in here? A little cubby hole. I mean, what's going on here? Oh no, it's not. It's because this door is here. A little bit of hole in the wall there. There is some. Uh, obviously, this has been abandoned for a long time now. I wouldn't even call it abandoned. I, I don't know what you call it. it well, it kind of is abandoned, I guess. Look yeah, at these chairs. We've just got perfect. Oh. We've got perfect chairs here as well. Look at these leather seats. Yeah, these are just my favourite seats. Yeah, they're only comfy those oh, kind of seats. So Look at them. But Wes, Wes is just chilling out. You know, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to try and arrange some kind of twenty four hour stay over in here. It'd be amazing. Yeah. I mean, because we've only got an hour and a half in here today, so uh, I'll turn this light out. I love them seats. There we go. So yeah, we've only got. Oh, this. I'll talk about that in a minute. But look at this—the old family safe. This is the original safe in here. So they'd have had the, all the jewels and whatever else in here. I mean, look at that. This door. Oh, wow, this door is heavy. Look at the bolts on that. That's crazy. There we go. We've got a battery change in the uh, in the torch. So look at this. Look, look at the flooring just coming apart. It's like a jigsaw, man. There's so many pieces missing. I wonder if someone came in and just stole them. So there's some random sheets on the floor. He did tell me that uh, 
there's kind of like a shag pile rug here just sat there there was some kind of photo shoot going on in here um this week so uh yeah not sure what kind of photo shoot it was guys but you can use your imaginations right wes we're gonna i think we'll uh we'll head through to them areas over there and then we'll um we'll venture up to the uh first floor so this is the uh the grand entrance Got some beautiful chairs there that should me and Wes will definitely be uh, using for a photo shoot. Uh, we'll be taking some photos. Uh, we've got like a little pantry here. The floor is coming through a bit here though. Well, it's not really coming through. It's just the plasterboard from the roof. Easily repairable. See, this per this place is not in disrepair. It, it can still be brought back to life. That's the crazy thing about it. Yeah, it needs quite a bit of work, but this ceiling here was the original ceiling from 19 sorry from the 1770s uh this pa this painting on the roof right here and a couple of us are the reason why it's been turned into a grade one listed building so this bit here is more or less a bar area um for the weddings Ooh, got holes in the floor there. oops um yeah the old bar got some uh yeah we've got a sink you know dispensers and what you'd normally find behind the bar no alcohol though so we've got all the ovens still here. Everything's still intact. Um, you did tell me they've had some break-ins, um, you know, the typical break-in, steal your boiler type type stuff. Copper pipes being, being stolen. What? Fuck, oh, that door just closed on its own. I don't know if that was because we walked through it. Just let me see how heavy that door is. So you've got automatically shuts. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that was wedged tight like that. That wouldn't have. Well, may maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm going to say maybe because I don't want to freak myself out. <laughs> I'm going to go in the cellar soon. I don't want to get freaked out. Uh, we've got to lift there. Oh, oh. I don't know, but look at this room here. This is the other ceiling I was telling you about. This ceiling here is another reason why it is now a listed building. I mean, just just look at look at the state, look at the architecture, the painting. It's all original and it's crazy. What's going on with that? That's crazy. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Yeah, that's <laughs> I don't know. I thought there was like some secret behind it. That's yeah, that's that's, like that's mad. That's so strange. Uh, what's in here? <laughs> a little toilet. Oh, a tiny toilet with a lamp. A tiny toilet. Right, so I don't want to in these doors. Okay, well, let's calm down. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this! An original telephone box. That, <laughs> and a piano. The stuff you find in here is mad. So they barricaded the doors because of people broke in. And it works, no way. I recognise it. Go on, what is it? Words by Boyzone. Oh, Alright, yeah, because uh, everyone wants to listen to Boyzone. <laughs> you don't think I can play. Wes, you just... You, you, you cease to amaze me. Oh, that's the balcony where the uh, young girl fell off and fell to her death. Really? Oh, well. Plenty of deaths been in here. Like they've built a little uh, thing so you can't fall off anymore. Alright, so uh, this room here, as you can see, was uh, like a bedroom staying over in after um, weddings and so on. And he told, the former owner told us that when they, um, when they were decorating, they decorated over the door. This is the door. Look at this. <laughs> How crazy is that? It's actually a door. <gasps> we're going onto the balcony. Safe to stand on it, that was. So yeah, this is the balcony. See well out there. Look at this. Uh, there's Wes's dirty cherub again. So uh, obviously this was used in the First World War as uh, a kind of hospital. 
and then in the Second World War, it was uh, an a base for the Americans. So there's uh, so much history going on. Um, so much history and probably so many deaths as well. There's another piano here. Come on, let's hear you, another rendition of, of uh, Boys Zone. like the gothic version of Boys Zone. <laughs> but Wes? Wes flashing out his skills on the piano. Nick, you ain't got nothing on me. Oh yeah, Nick Pierce, the musical master, and uh, he's not got nothing on Wes. Now this was the Masonic floor. All the Freemason stuff went on up here. We have Freemasons rooms. We have um, we have artwork on the, on the roofs of Freemason symbols. And uh, this is one of them. Uh, is it one of them? No, this wasn't one of them. This is just a random room. Uh, but this one here is a Masonic room. Uh, as you can see on the roof, we've got the Mason symbols there. Uh, they probably met up here, did whatever they did. Not quite sure what that is. Um, plot to take over the world and all that kind of jazz. Um, I have no idea in fact what they did, but they have rooms dedicated to them, so I'm guessing they, uh, whatever they were doing was important. But it's uh, it is amazing. I was getting some good shots of them, them symbols. Oh, this was another Freemason room, very similar style symbol. But this is a uh, got the sun here. We've got the same Mason symbols on the. Crazy, we've still got electric. This was the former former owner's bedroom. <laughs> he, used to, he used to sleep in here. We've got another electric keyboard organ thing. Uh, so this was this was used as a chapel, this bit. So we've got the electric organ there. Uh, this was the altar, whatever they called it. Um, so yeah, this was because it was used as a school in the 1950s as well. So this is why this is here, I guess. Right, so I really like this room, and the reason why I like this room is because of the brickwork. Oh, there's an attic. Oh, you didn't show us that. Not much real to see. No? No. No hidden treasure. Door shape and ladder. Not much real to see. No. No, no I've just got bits of chairs and. What not? Uh, uh. Just watch my foot at the bottom. Can't see. <laughs> right, so as I was saying, I, I really like this room because I like the brickwork. As you can see, these chairs been set up because there was some photo shoots going on. The walls cracking there. I'll get, I'll get a couple of the photos in here after. Oh, down there as well, all this here was um, like a nunnery. All the nuns used to live there and sleep there. All over there. Oh wow, I won't mind getting in that building as well. That building looks epic. Uh, no, we definitely didn't come from that. So we found, I found two of the rooms. Right, so there's one back there. Right, another one here. Where's the other one? I, I swear, he, there was three rooms. Yeah, I'm sure you were. No, it was up here. Because he said the free, the, this was the Freemasons floor. Maybe, maybe it was downstairs, am I tripping? I don't know. No, it showed them was all at the same time. You know, it's kind of crazy walking in such an old building that's abandoned and not having to worry about actually falling through, falling through the door, the floor, sorry. What? It's not hard to remember it. But yeah, we've got, these big Freemason symbols here on the uh, on the roofs. So obviously, whoever did the uh, architecture in here at the time was a, either a part of the Freemasons or was a big believer in the work or in whatever they were doing. So, uh, so yeah, it's amazing. It's so cold. Uh, this is where we came. It's another room. Right, it's the balconies. 
So yeah, we're gonna venture into the cellar, which we've already been in, and and uh, oh, it's, it's creepy, very, very creepy. It's dark. Yeah, it's dark. That's it's awesome. Though. Back on the ground floor, right down there is the cellar. That's the kitchen. Yeah. That's the kitchen, yeah. All right. Going to the cellar. I suppose we've got to. I suppose we have to do this. <laughs> oh. right. So we've got a lot of pipe work down here. It is freezing. I'm not even joking yet. There's cobwebs everywhere. Where are you going, Wes? I don't know what. I'm gonna I don't care. I know there's gonna be loads of spiders, but I don't care. I'm just gonna come in. Oh wow, we're going all over the roofs. Look at the old brickwork. Yeah, you see that. I don't know why I've lowered my voice loads. Christmas tree, we always find Christmas trees in abandoned buildings. Right. The old furnace there. Oh, look at that thing there. Is that a siren then? Have you seen that? That is crazy. <laughs> Don't know why it's just such a strange feeling down here. It really is. Wes, don't leave me alone. Please don't leave me alone, Wes. Alright, so we'll venture into this one. Look at the roof, you know, I love the roof. My shoes are squeaking. I don't know why I'm walking so slow. I don't know why I'm whispering, but I just feel like I have to. Mm, it's been like a bit of a fire here, a coal fire. Some, some candles as well. Mm. Got some old broken glasses. An old place, man. Show you how dark it is. I'll no, don't, don't. I'll turn off my light. You turn off your light. Fine. You ready? You ready? All right, right, there you go. Right, it's dark. Yeah, you can <laughs> see that. You can see it's dark. All right, so. Oh, Bacardi. Oh, what's, what's back there? Oh, nothing. So, yeah. yeah as you can imagine, it's pretty creepy down here. I love it. Pretty creepy. Look at the old door. I mean, look at that door. It's like a cell door. Yeah, it is like a cell door. You just don't see that either. Alright, so we're uh, venturing further back into the cellar. Alright, we've got a light on here, which is good. Well, you go in the light one, I'll go in the dark. Okay, fine. Alright, so here's the barrels, beautifully stacked up. I don't know who's done that. This has just been like a bit of a workshop and where they kept all the coal barrels and whatnot. What else is in here? Not a great deal, a lot of echo though. That door, it's just a beautiful door. Yeah, why it's get so friendly about doors. Oh, I've got an old shoot there. Yeah, into this room, which I've been told, I think, the creepiest room. This room was um, a lot of haunted stuff's been going on in this room, apparently. the old brickwork there. Look at that. Feels like I'm just walking through time. Right, well, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna shut my camera off now and get some photos. I'm gonna let Wes take over the camera um, while I get some photos and then I will see you probably in the front on the drone. Honestly, it's such an amazing place. Um, so happy we got to do it. <laughs> so we're having our photo taken up here. Oh, Wes is gonna get up the stairs in ten seconds. <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> Look, I told you he's so nimble. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm right, Wes. <laughs> Right, so we just walked through here and uh, we both just kind of heard someone speak but it was uh, it was like like an old fashioned yeah like an old fashioned lord that was uh, that was strange yeah, that was really weird well I suppose you'd have a lot of um, there's that much history here it wouldn't surprise me if there was uh, you know strange activity going on Really wouldn't. <laughs> the mirror there, I thought it was. <laughs> the mirror there, Wes scared himself. You can see that. Look at that. He scared himself. venture down into the cellars on my own. Pretty cool. Yeah? Down in the cellar. Still down here on my own. go to abandoned buildings and there's always a cellar down in, in the building. I'm always the first one down in there and Dan always finds me in the cellars. Can't see where I'm going though, that light, right. I'm right at the end down here. 